Hey guys, welcome back to another Militaria video, and today we're going to be reviewing British DPM. Now before I get into this video, I would just like to say that I'm sorry that this came out late. I, If you haven't watched my video on my US Woodland jacket, I explained that I, you know, after that video that I went to Croatia, I stayed in Croatia for about two weeks, and I took a bit of a break, and then a couple weeks after that I went down to Pennsylvania for a family thing, and yeah, so I was a bit busy and wasn't able to make my British DPM video on time. Also trying to find some good DPM, um, specifically a DPM shirt, was a bit of a pain in the ass, but luckily, thanks to eBay and so some other websites that I'll mention later on, I was able to get my stuff to go. But um, with that all out of the way, let's talk about the history of British DPM. Disruptive Pattern Material, also known as British DPM, was first developed by the British Army in 1960. It was inspired by the Denison smock that was mainly worn by British commandos and Canadian soldiers during World War II, but it was not until, the, until 1968 that the pattern was adopted by the British Army. At first, it was mainly worn by soldiers of the Parachute Regiment and the Royal Marines, but later on, every single soldier of the British Army began wearing this. The pattern's first use in conflict was by British soldiers in the Troubles, but it appears the, pa the pattern may have become popular in 1982 during the Falklands War, and over the past decades, the pattern has been used in other conflicts such as the Lebanese Civil War, the Gulf War, and the Iraq War. Although British DPM was phased out by the British Army in 2016, the pattern is still used by countries such as Bulgaria, Indonesia, Oman, Sri Lanka, and Ukraine. Now with the history of British DPM out of the way, let's try it on. And here's what it looks like, guys. Now. Wearing this, specifically the shirt, it feels very comfortable on me, and I got this off of eBay from a guy who was actually based in Britain. I don't know his name right now, but um, all I can say is this is, uh, I'll put it up on screen right here, but um, I, definitely check, I definitely suggest checking that guy out if you're looking for some good militaria, well, good British DPM shirts to start with. And this shirt is also made by Miltech, which is the same company that made my tiger stripe t-shirt which you know also feels very comfortable on me and i definitely would trust miltech especially because you know their products are pretty good now with the shirt out of the way let's talk about the pants and here's what the pants look like my friends now as you can see the pants are a lot darker than the uh than my shirt up here since you know these uh lighter brown patterns aren't really visible on here which the closest thing would be this, but would be these little do hickey patterns. But um, they're more in the lines of say like a darker green or a dark brown. And as I said before, I like these pair of pants with you know other cargo pants variants since they also have a bunch of pockets right here behind and also right here. Now you can't. I'll see if I can try to bring it up. But um, below the knee right here is uh some other pockets right here and also right there. So this would be a very good pair of pants, as I said before, say if you're hiking through, you know, say the Appalachians or Rocky Mountains and what other, whatever mountains there are, but also, you know, hunting in case you need to carry, have an extra place to carry, you know, say like a magazine or um, some food and some water bottles or going to the range and all the usual type of stuff. And I got these pair of pants from what price glory and i think this is actually my first time buying from what price glory and i gotta say these pair of pants are really really good so if you're looking for some good military out there that you can't find from say fire force ventures or another website i definitely would recommend what price glory and they also have some other camos that i'll look at in the future because this company again as i said before makes some very good stuff and I would highly, highly, highly recommend What Price Glory. In conclusion, would I say that British DPM is a good camo pattern? Hmm, yeah. It may not be in my favorites. Well, technically I would say it's about my third favorite camo pattern, maybe fourth. And 
I definitely would, but I would recommend this camo pattern, say for like the summer or spring, and if you're out in the wilderness, like the woods or the forest, or you're again doing hunting, or you're in like swampy environments also doing hunting and whatnot. And yeah, that's about it. If you like this video, make sure you click that like button and make sure you subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts, including including Minds, Instagram, and Odyssey. And if you feel compelled, make a donation to me via PayPal or Cash App. And I hope you tune in next week because I will not be doing a camo pattern. No, instead it's going to be a celebration of some kind. I will not reveal what it is, but if you have looked at how many subscribers I have, you'll probably figure it out. And yeah, that's about it. Bye.